Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to share with you 15 fragrances that were a love at first sniff. Normally, yes, when I spray a fragrance for the first time, maybe I really, really like it. But with these ones, I was speechless. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I either test them in store and I bought them like right away or they were a blind buy and they were like a massive, massive success blind buy. So. Before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to pick thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. Alright, we're gonna go very very quickly through all of these because I have lots of perfumes, alright? And the first one that we have in here is Mon Guerla Intense from Guerla. Let me tell you, the original, it was a blind buy for me. Everyone was talking about it, it was on the market for a long time, never tested it. And then when I got it, I was like, oh my god, it's amazing. But then, then, I decided to get Mon Guerla Intense. And when I sprayed it, it's stunning. It's the original DNA, okay, so you're getting that powdery, slightly creamy vanilla with lavender. But then it has, um, the, the vanilla is stronger in this one, and then it has a licorice note. I know, I know, licorice is a note that not so many people love. I really, really like licorice, and for some reason... It really, like, it really works in this fragrance. The original is very classy, very feminine. This one, it's all of that, but it's sexier, okay? It's a bit more, even more put together, nighttime. It's, it's so good. It's such a good, classy, but sexy perfume in the same time. And I actually wore it um, a few days ago, and I got two compliments the same day. So, yeah, people love it. Mon Guerla Intense from Guerla. Next we have... I need to stop talking about this one, but it's just that good. Elisab, Girl of Now. I told you I got my full bottle. It's there. I just need to use this one up. I remember um, being in London. And this one, I've heard about it online here on YouTube. But I never tested it. And as, as soon as I sprayed, I was like, this is stunning. Back then, I was wearing just designers. I didn't have any niche fragrances. This is in the designer world. This is like one of the best gourmands, and not just in designer worlds. It's a very good gourmand, all right. This is almond with pistachio with vanilla. It's delicious. I love it. Yeah, like my reaction when I tested it, especially because I love gourmands, but I was like I said, in just in the designer world, I never explored. But well, at that time, the niche world. This was a game changer for me. This was the fragrance. I was like, oh my god, he's the best of the best of the best. Girl of Now from Elisab. Next. Next, we have a fragrance that everyone trashed. Like, everyone was like, oh, this is so boring. And I was in the department store and I was like, let me just try it. Can't be that bad. My way, just the original from Giorgio Armani. Let me tell you, when I sprayed it, I was like, oh my god, this is such a good fragrance this is tuberose and jasmine but it's very yummy it's very like sparkling like you want to drink this like it makes your mouth like it's it's a mouth watery perfume it's such a good one such a simple easy fragrance but like i said it's a sweet tuberose with jasmine it's beautiful i love it especially for uh, spring and summer this one is just stunning I really like, I really, really like this one. My way, uh, just the original from Giorgio Armani. Next. Next we have La Belle Le Parfum. I had the original, really like the original, all right. And then I've been wearing it and I wasn't that sure about it anymore until I blind bought um, the Le Parfum version and I was like, this is it, this is stunning. This tonka with like vanilla, I think it has some a pear note or something like that for me. It has a chocolate note somewhere in the background. It has some like berries in the background as well. Such a good sexy scent. Like when I tested this, I was like completely, completely in love. Um, Jean-Paul Gaultier, La Belle Le Parfum. Next. Reminisam, Draget. There are three and I actually got a set where I had Draget, Guimauve, and was another another one heliotrope i believe i tested the the other two first and the pink one i really didn't like the green one i kind of liked i was like oh, okay fine and then i tested the white one and when i tested this i was like this is so good like the pink one was the most popular one 
at that time and that was my least favorite i was like oh my god i don't i don't really like this one like it smells kind of medicinal and then i tested this it smells exactly like those candies that you're getting at the wedding it was like sugar coated candy um almond candies it's it's so good it's like powdery sweet almond and just delicious and mm, it's so good especially for um affordable perfume this is the 50 ml the 100 ml has like a bow and it's more like baba boom but the presentation is beautiful i really like the scent it's a stunning good one and an affordable one so um Draget from reminisa next next we have a fragrance that is not a designer but it's very affordable and it's just stunning like stunning all right coffee addict from theodoros calotinis coffee addict people are saying that this is the best coffee but i didn't want to believe it especially me and coffee we have a weird relationship like i like it but not that much like i like drinking coffee i'm obsessed with coffee but not necessarily smelling like coffee this yes smells like coffee but it's more like tiramisu it's so delicious it's so photorealistic it's just amazing it's, it's it's amazing it's the most beautiful gourmand coffee fragrance that you can find and i've tested a lot of fragrances that have a coffee note this is just the best and it's like 45 euros you can't go wrong it's stunning it's like one of the best gourmands period coffee addict from theodoros calotinis next talking about tiramisu and things like that we have from Van Cleef, private collection, Bois Doré. Bois Doré was my second perfume from Van Cleef. I actually have another one that was my first one and I loved it. This one has a tobacco note. It's that like sweet pipe tobacco and then I'm getting as well. It has an almond note, but I'm getting as well this like tiramisu vibe. It's not as gourmand as Coffee Addict. It doesn't have that like coffee note. It's more like almond and tobacco but it's beautiful and again it gives me for some reason gives me this tiramisu vibe and as soon as i sprayed it at that point again i was wearing designers so i was slightly going to more like niche or designer private collections and when i smelled this one i was like oh my god this is divine i love it so much like till these days i really love it but my first reaction was just was just like this is amazing Bodore from Van Cleef. The next one from Van Cleef as well. Orchidea Vanille. This one was probably my first kind of expensive perfume. Orchidea Vanille, it's a beautiful, beautiful vanilla with some like chocolate orange in the background. Such a stunning vanilla. You definitely get that chocolate orange, but the vanilla is like syrupy. The bit like velvety as well. I love it. I absolutely love it. It doesn't really last. That's the only like it lasts on the skin. That's a project. That's a problem. It doesn't project. But the scent is so cozy. It's so yummy. It's so so good. And like I told you, I back then I didn't smell uh, that many vanillas. That many like good vanillas. And when I sprayed it, I was like, this is the best thing that ever happened to my life. Like this, this is this is everything. Now, I smell that vanilla, so maybe I like more. I actually have one in here, but this is still stunning. Van Cleef and Arpels, um, Orchidea Vanille. Talking about chocolate, oranges, we have... This is very new to my collection, okay? okay. The Star de Sange. The Star de Sange. I, I can't pronounce this. From uh, Maisa. This was sent to me, all right? I was like, okay, let me try it. If I don't like it, I'm just not going to feature it in the video. I love it. Oh my god, it smells exactly like chocolate oranges with vanilla. It's stunning, it's so sweet, it's so yummy, it's so delicious. I love, I just look at that automized, I love it. And the scent is beautiful, magnetic cap, what can you want more? I have a discount code for this, not affiliated, just for you if you want to get a discount. It's such, such a good gourmand. Okay, let's move on, let's move on. Should we talk about another gourmand? Let's do let's do another gourmand. Um Accident Lavani from Jusset. This is just the best vanilla ever. Period. Like gourmand vanilla. It's so yummy. I don't know what the notes are, but like 
it's creamy and it's not that vanilla mask is, is not that, that like vanilla brown sugar is not that generally it smells like like you know like a biscuit or like a cookie or like not a cookie like a croissant like it's very creamy and it has this like caramel it doesn't have any caramel but i'm getting some caramel in it as well it's it's, it's delicious it's delicious it's so good i cannot tell you how good this thing is this is like the best 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 gourmand vanilla ever i still didn't try i have two more perfumes two more vanilla perfumes i want to try but so far this one is the best one accident a la vanille from Jusset. next um let's let's finish with the vanillas all right Diptyque Eau de Well Eau de Parfum. I had the Eau de Toilette and I really, really liked Eau de Toilette. And I was uh, checking online. People were saying that the Eau de Toilette is better than the Eau de Parfum. Um, and one day I was just like in Selfridges. Diptyque is actually upstairs. All of the perfumes are downstairs. But Diptyque has like its own section upstairs. So I was upstairs. I was like, you know what? They have Diptyque in here. They have Jo Malone as well. But I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. I was like, let me, let me just try some other Diptyque. When I tested this, I was like, this is amazing. Like, this is a spicy vanilla, a bit all aromatic, but the vanilla is sugary and dark and sexy and just amazing. Like, it's amazing. Yes, I do really like the Eau de Toilette, but the Eau de Parfum, I sprayed it on my skin, did, like, some shopping around. No, I just I was just looking around, basically, for, like, one hour, and then I came back. I was like, I need this. I need this, I purchased it, I looked online, I couldn't find it anywhere, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna buy it now, because it's just that good, so, yeah, this one left me speechless, I love it, um, I got compliments with this one as well, yeah, it's, it's, it's such a good one, Diptyque, Eau de Well, Eau de Parfum, next, next we have, because we talked about Selfridges, I have two more perfumes that I've tested in Selfridges, and, oh my god, that's so good, Changing Constance from Penhaligans, this perfume i've tried like maybe two years ago and i was actually testing some montal perfumes and the lady that was working there was like let me, if you like romance let me give you something and she sprayed this on the card and i remember i took that card home and i smelled it for like two days for some reason on card this thing lasts on my skin it doesn't it's this spicy caramel delicious just i still love it but i remember the first time when i smelled that card i was like this is stunning. I want to get my first niche, so I was looking into Montal because that's my like, affordable niche. When she sprayed this, I was like, oh my god, what is that? Changing concepts, how much is it? 204, no thank you. So, like one year later, I, I got it, okay? I got it, but at that point, I was like, this is too much. But the scent, I remember, I kept thinking about it. I was like, one day, one day, I'm gonna purchase it. And now I have it, and I just love it. Changing concepts from Penhaligans. Another one we have Bodacious from Bodicia. Again, I was in Selfridges. I got, I think, something from Ex Nihilo. And I was just like looking around and I told the girls that, oh, I like Wimans. And one of them showed me this. I never heard of uh, Bodicia as a brand. I was like, okay. When I smelled it, I was like, this is the best thing that happened ever, like in, in this world. Like, this is the best, but like, I'm speechless when I smell this one. It smells like almonds and cherry, but it's not your Tom for lost cherry. I'm getting mostly almond and then with cherry, I'm getting like amaretto and it's syrupy, but creamy. But it, generally, every single person that I know that tested this perfume was like, oh my God, that's stunning. That's amazing. This perfume is just amazing. I love it so much. I don't buy it right away because it's quite expensive. But in a few months, I bought it because I just had to have it. It's just that good. Bodicious from Bodicia. Now, how many perfumes are I have in here? Three left. Just uh, Jardins de Misfach from Unui Nomad. I got from them the Discovery Kit. And the idea was me trying perfumes and seeing if I uh, seeing if I like any of them to get a full bottle for a review. And I sprayed a few, and to be honest, like the first ones I sprayed, like the first like three ones, I didn't really like. They were very, I don't know, balsamic, like resinous. I didn't really like them. And then I sprayed this one. And when I sprayed this one, I was like, 
why did I spray it first? Like, what? I, I need this ASAP. I need this right now. This perfume. If you like jammy roses and if you like dates, it has some jasmine, it has other notes as well, but this is what I'm getting. I'm getting dates, super sweet, sticky dates, and then rose. But it's a jammy rose. I love it so much. It's very bougie. Like it gives you um, fall vibes, very bougie, rich woman. This is what I'm getting from this perfume. But it is very sweet as well. Like the dates are very sweet in this perfume. I do really, really, really like it. Especially when it's like raining or things like that. This is just, it's just, ah. I, I don't like when it's raining and I live in Manchester. So it's raining a lot. But this one just puts me in like a good mood. This one just puts me in that like bougie mood. I, I love it. I love it so much. One of the best jammy roses that I have in my collection. And I have lots of jammy roses, all right? Um, yeah, Jardins de Misfach from Uni Nomad. Amazing, amazing. Jammy Rose with dates. And then we have two more. Mula Mula Byron. I've seen online people talking about this one and then on Fragmatica people were like, eh, it's not actually that good. So I didn't buy it and I got a sample at one point. This is the old bottle, okay? New bottle design is this one. I actually have the new one, but the new one as well, but I'm just waiting to finish this one. Oh. When I smelled the sample, I knew I have to have it. And like, I bought it immediately. Mula Mula is this peach like sweet caramelized peach but fluffy in the same time and very creamy it's delicious but in a fruity creamy way everyone seems to love it especially women like all the time when i'm wearing this a girl is coming to me and is asking me what are you wearing because you smell stunning it's it's delicious it's absolutely delicious like i love it so much and you, again it's that type of um scent that makes you very like I know it's fun it's flirty it's just stunning i love it i love it so much and to these days i see i'm wearing it and i do really still really really like it and the last one sundance from stefan humble lucas i got um god of fire and then venom i can't remember the name i got two perfumes anyway and i got some free samples and when i spray the sample of this I placed an order the same day, all right? Because this thing is absolutely stunning. Is this sandalwood with some amber, with some cacao. It's creamy, but dry in the same time. Almost gourmand. Very unique scent, hard to explain, but you need to get a sample. Because I told you, when I smelled this one, I was like, spread it on paper. Spread it on my skin, and then five minutes later, add to card, complete checkout. It's mine. I loved it that much. Like, immediate, immediate love. Like, I just adore it. Also, the bottle, I love the color of the bottle. I know some people don't like snakes. I'm not the biggest fan of snakes, but I don't mind them. So, I really, really like the bottle, especially the color. But the scent is just so, so, so good. So, yeah, my last scent that I have in here that was completely, 100% a love at first sniff, Sundance from Stefan Humboldt Lucas. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below um, what fragrance you felt in love with the moment when you, like, smelled it and the moment when, I know, you realize, oh, my God, it's the best thing ever. I need, I need, I need to buy right now. Let me know what are the fragrances or that maybe you just want fragrance that you felt in love immediately. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about all of these perfumes, if you like them, if you don't, and all of that. Um, yeah, like I told you, I have some coupon codes. I have four. What, for what do I have? I have coupon codes from Uni Nomad and then I have coupon uh, codes for Maisa. Some are affiliated, some are not, just for you, if you want to save some money, okay? If you want to save some money, there is a link in the description box. That was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.